Luke 1, 34 to 38. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Even Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who is said to be barren is in her sixth month. For nothing is impossible with God. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May it be to me as you have said. Then the angel left her. When I hear this passage, uh, I'm struck by the, the thought that Mary would question God. Uh, but you know, when we look through scripture, we see this happen all the time. People are called and they question. And uh, you know, you look at Abraham, Moses, Paul even, uh, and Mary does the same. And God's okay with that, with us questioning. But the thing that really stands out about Mary that's different to me is that we don't really don't know how long this time period was that they that she considered all this, but we do know it's fairly short, I would say. Uh, but she just immediately just says, yes, I will do this. I'll be your servant. And uh, that really stands out to me. Uh, and it's okay to question, uh, but it's when our questions become so much that it stalls us, that we don't move to action. And Mary just immediately moves to action. And you know, she was chosen by God because of her faithfulness. And God saw something in her and knew that she would answer uh, this call and, and would just move to action. And so during this Christmas time, uh, we just challenge everybody and ourselves too to uh, just be servants like Mary was and to not let our questions about whether something's hard or too difficult or whatnot to stall us out, but just say, we're willing, we're here, just like Mary was.